The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, Short Moon Review. Frodo, Sam, and Gollum continue towards Mount Doom, with the ring showing greater, greater power over Frodo, with that further endangering the mission, along with Gollum's. Gollum remains hard to trust, let's put it like that. While the rest of the Fellowship briefly recuperate after the climax of the second film, now hopeful that maybe they will be able to win this world war of fantastical proportions. And after this, the tension picks up again and never lets go for the duration of the film. Pip makes a mistake, which has Gandalf take him to the vast and beautifully done city of, probably gonna mess this up, Minas Tirith, where Gandalf hopes to convince the steward that they have to defend against the incoming orc army, which is at this point, I believe, it is in the hundreds of thousands. And they're also the nastiest looking of the entire trilogy. And the creature designs are the best and most memorable. I will not be giving away what creatures exactly we're talking about. This really nicely finishes off the trilogy, resolving everything, hence its numerous endings, which really can be quite exhausting the first time you watch it if you weren't prepared for there being so many. And again, the action is very fast, very well choreographed, and a nice mix of being chaotic and allowing you to follow what's going on. And the battles are realistic. It's numbers, strategic opportunities, and skill that win the battles. It's not just, well, the good guys have to win, so obviously they're better shots and immune to dying at the enemy's hand. And this realism makes it feel more earned when a battle is over. It feels like something was really accomplished. The, the themes are, again, those friendship, hope, love, loss, and sacrifice. And there are, like with the second one, not that many new lands or new characters, although Minas Tirith, uh, finally seen here in its full glory, is certainly well worth, uh, yeah, getting to see. And the effects remain amazing, a great blend of CGI and practical effects with highly expressive makeup on the orcs and the like, where you never feel like there's a person under there. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.